oh not my best look but good morning you guys welcome back to my channel today oh zap don't do that please for today's video i thought i would do a day in my life vlog on sunday a little sunday reset i have a lot of things that i want to do today in regards to like cleaning and like just getting my week set up for success i feel like the past two or three days i've been like just letting the mess kind of pile up and it's really just like bugging me and, it, and it's really just bugging me because i keep thinking about it but not doing anything so i thought today would be a good sunday reset i have some clothes i gotta put away i want to put new sheets on my bed i have to shower i put some oils in my hair last night so i gotta wash that off gotta make breakfast um and then i am going to a early dinner later with my dad and zach so i will also do like a little mini get ready with me once we finish all of our cleaning so let's get up and start this day my my hair looks so bad does anyone else just like wake up absolutely dehydrated i like am so thirsty right when i wake up so i always keep like a huge water bottle by my bed oh, it's so cold okay Actual first order of business is let's go feed Zep some breakfast. Put my slippers on, Zep. It's breakfast time. Are you hungry? Breakfast. Eat your food, Zep. She like always eats when I'm not looking. I think she gets embarrassed. I actually want to clean my kitchen first. I have so many dishes that I just let i just let accumulate so i want to get this done i normally do my dishes before i go to bed because i hate waking up in the morning and like seeing my my kitchen like a mess and stuff like that but i've just been just been in my lazy era also my hair is slicked rick because i have oils i have like oils and like treatments in my hair which you saw my last vlog i was like putting like the same oils in my hair um i did like a scalp treatment and then a root hair oil anyways I'm going to empty out the dishwasher now and then reload it up. Cue cleaning montage. <laughs> I want to put some flowers in this vase. I got this vintage vase, which I think was in like my week in my life vlog back in January. It's like this, this vintage floral vase. I got it at the Rose Bowl Flea Market, which you guys saw. I'm just gonna clean it out a bit. I got some flowers delivered to me um, from the brand Naturium. So thank you guys so much. They sent me flowers for hitting 200K on YouTube. That was so like nice of them and they totally didn't have to do that, but that was really nice so i'm just gonna fill this with water this is not my best look i'm just drying it off because i got it a bit wet look at these beautiful flowers that they sent um so i'm gonna put them in this vase i feel like these might be a little too tall so i might have to do some trimming does this look weird yeah i feel like a little bit huh Okay, this looks literally so freaking cute. It's giving me major spring vibes. I'm so excited. I'm really ready for spring and this is just like already getting me really excited for the new season. I think March like 7th or something like that, 7 p.m. sunsets come back and I am so excited. This darkness at 4 p.m. like has got to go. But anyways, let's go put this in my living room and then tackle the living room because I was watching movies on the couch last night, so I didn't clean it up. So let's go do that. Where should I put this? I originally had this vase um, up on my little hutch thing, but that's gonna get moved to my office. So I think I'll just put this in my 
little coffee table. Let's see, like that. Okay. I feel like that looks pretty cute. Um, now I need to fix my couch. Oh, you guys haven't even seen the couch. Couch reveal, very big, but that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was like super, super cozy vibes, but obviously I have like a million blankets on there. So let's fix her up and then I'll show you guys what she actually looks like. So little living room tour now that the couch is all cleaned up so this actually so this tv console is actually for my old apartment if you guys remember i am thinking of selling this i don't really think it goes with like the flow of here and it's kind of just taking up space um it's kind of just taking up space i feel like i i would rather have something like taller and i feel like with the woods just not really vibing but for now i just have little things that i had in my old apartment like my Final player, which is obviously always playing folklore. And then I actually got this lamp warmer for Christmas. I love it. It's so cute. And then we have my all my records. Um, I'm obsessed with the fireplace TV situation here. I just feel like it's so cozy and everything like I've ever wanted. And then I just have some books right here because they used to be in my room. Um, but that bookshelf in my room is now in my makeup room. So I just put my books here for now. And then this was also my old apartment. This is subject to change i just kind of keep blankets and extra pillows on there and then we pan over to my couch i got it from living spaces if you guys saw my vlog you know i got it from there and i got it like custom made technically because i changed the color of the fabric um which i really really like because it's you can't really tell on camera but it has like little like specks of like brown and neutral but it's like cream only thing is it's not as soft as when i felt it in the store so i need to like really break it in um and then i got that from the rose bowl flea market which you guys saw but this is holding a bunch of shoes but this is actually going to get put into my office you'll see i'm going to do like a whole office makeup room video separately because because we're starting that project tomorrow so that'll be a separate vlog that was from my last apartment uh that i kind of want to put behind this couch and then i want to get the really big anthropology mirror and put it on that wall and then that's my little stool but yeah this is what the living room is looking like this episode been crazy not too shabby i feel really cozy and at home here obviously that just like the furniture doesn't look super put the furniture doesn't look super cohesive right now but it will um because like i feel like this needs something taller right here so i want to get rid of that and then this will get put away like i said and then i really 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 want the anthropology gleaming mirror the one that's seven feet because it's so tall and so wide i feel like it'll open up the space even more if I had it like right on that wall and then maybe I had like a little um, like olive tree next to it. I don't know. I just feel like that was going crazy. I just feel like it would kind of like open up the space and then that could be a cute place for me to take pictures. I don't know. I just really, really, really want that mirror. And I found one on sale on Facebook Marketplace, but they haven't gone back to me yet. So now I'm going to shower and wash this off and then... Okay, now that the kitchen and the living room are pretty much tidied up, I want you to shower so that way my hair can air dry mostly while I um, change my bedding and eat some breakfast. I'm getting hungry, so I want to shower first so I can eat something and then just start um, cleaning my room. So I really wanted to do that space first before I did my room, but 
Moral of the story, I'm always just like saying the same thing over and over again. I want to shower because I'm getting hungry and I gotta eat. I also want to air dry my hair mostly because I'm trying to keep heat off my hair, but I kind of want to curl my hair at the same time. So if it dries naturally by itself, then I feel like I can do, like if I, then I can curl it and it'll be like less um, heat on my hair. Anyways, let's shower. Okay, I'm slightly tilted because my tripod isn't like super straight, but just got out of the shower. I feel so much better. I'm gonna do some skincare and body care. I self tanned a couple of days ago, so I feel like on Sunday would be like a good day to like scrub off the tan and like re and like redo it. But I'm just like, I'm just like not really feeling like tanning myself. So we're skipping that, and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna use instead. But for my skincare. This is like my favorite product. Favorite thing, I've gone through like five of these, the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's antibacterial. I feel like it refreshes my face and it kind of looks like a cooling mint, like cooling, cooling minty like feel on my skin. Then I'm gonna go in with this green machine from In Beauty Project. Kind of just helps like dull, helps like any dark spots and makes my skin look less dull. I really like the Caudalie serum. Um, that's one that I was using before to help with like my dark spots and pigmentation, but I've been out of that one for a while, so I need to buy it again. So I've just been using that because they're similar vibes. I always take the rest on like the back of my hands. And then new product unlocked for me. Um, it's this other Caudalie serum, which I think helps with like fine lines. I'm only 24, but you know, gotta be preventative. And I do get to get some lines right here because I smile a lot. I guess, so I'm gonna have smile lines. And since I smile a lot too, it'll like kind of go to like my eyes and I don't wanna have crow's feet. Really all Caudalie products are like super worth it in my opinion. Like they're very, they're pretty pricey, but I, I've i never found a bad Caudalie product. Like I like them all. And then more recently since I kind of, I feel like my face is still a little bit tan, but it's kind of fading a little bit. I have been mixing the Rode Glazing Fluid with the Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Bronze Glow, and this leaves my skin so, so glowy. You guys are gonna be actually blinded. So I'm taking this, kind of just giving a generous amount on my hand, and then I'll go in with like two pumps. And then I just, just kind of stir this concoction right up. I know Glow Recipe is coming out with like a bronzing drop um, serum, so I'm actually excited to try that. Um, I think I'm going to a dinner for that launch this upcoming week, so I'm excited to try that and test it out. I actually don't really try a lot of Glow Recipe products, so um, let me know if I should try it. I know the 12 year olds at Sephora freaking love Glow Recipe and Drunk Elephant, but I've never really tried out their products. I am, like, I am so glowy right now. You guys can't tell me I'm not. And then I'm gonna finish off with a little moisturizer and SPF. Where is my SPF is the question. Um, but I'm gonna use this Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer. I talk about this product all the time on my TikTok. I actually have a partnership with Tatcha. Um, actually, I think it just ended. I, I think I just filmed, I just did my last video with them, but. Um, it was always with this moisturizer and I was like, you know what, honestly, like I can talk about this moisturizer because it's, I can talk about this moisturizer for however long you guys want me to because it is my favorite. That's probably like my third or fourth one of that moisturizer. It's just so good. I asked for it for Christmas two years ago and ever since then that has just become one of my favorite moisturizers of all time. And look, glowing. That's what we want to see because then it makes for putting on makeup later so much better. You guys know I told you in my like last um, vlog that me and Sarah talk a lot on Snapchat, which is so random, like that's like our biggest form of communication. We do text every single day too. It'll kind of just be like random, like I'll send her a link and be like thoughts, or if like something random comes up and like I need her to respond immediately, then I'll text her. But um, if it's like a story time, we Snapchat. So I woke up to a bunch of Snapchats from Sarah, so I'm gonna listen to her Snapchats while I moisturize my body. I'm going to mix a little bit of this Fresh moisturizer. I actually just signed a contract with Fresh and I'm really excited to be trying a lot of their products. Um, but that partnership is for TikTok, but I just use their products now pretty much daily. 
Um, this is the grapefruit body lotion. It smells so good. I feel like I'm really leaning into like spring, summer scents as you guys saw my flowers from earlier. And then I'm also going to be using this Tanologist um, Firming Gradual Tan Lotion just because I want to like make, I just want to like make sure my tan is even and this is for medium to dark skin tones and I feel like I'm pretty medium skin tone so I'm going to like moisturize with this and then add this like on top. Thumbnail. So that is my body care routine. Um, I normally would put a body oil on but since I have a tan I don't want the oil to like rub off my tan. Okay, body care complete. Um, I was debating on leaving my hair in this microfiber towel and letting it dry in there. Ah, I feel like my hair dense, not dense, but just like dries in like weird patterns. And I think I'm just going to let it air dry with it down. So I'm going to take out this microfiber towel. I do like using these though. I feel like I was a hater to these towels at first, but I do see a difference um, in like frizziness and like flyaways. When I use a regular towel, I feel like my hair is like more wild dare i say and this one i feel like is a little bit better so oh hi zep zep loves drinking water from the sink okay say hi say hi to the vlog not you looking anywhere but the camera and since i'm not gonna i'm gonna let it air dry mostly but i still want to put some product and heat protectant in my hair I feel like I've been saying for the past couple of vlogs that I need a haircut, but I really do need a haircut. Because I feel like every time I've been styling my hair recently, I just haven't been happy with it because I just don't know how to style like my super outgrown layers. Like I haven't had like super straight, not straight, but like one length hair, like long one length hair since I was in high school. Like that's how my hair was. Like it was all one length and it was like so long. Um... And I really liked that look, like when my hair was straight. Like I think straightening my hair like looks the best with my hair that I have right now because it's all uniformed, but I feel like for the most part, I like when my hair has like a little bit of like, I don't know, like texture going on. Or I guess when I wave my hair too, it like doesn't look bad. I don't know how my hair would look waved if I had a bunch of layers. I don't think I want to have a bunch, a bunch of layers again, but just a little something like my look how long my face framing piece is like I feel like it should be at least to like right here like right below my chin but but I also love Gloria's hair in Modern Family and she has really long layers so I think maybe I'll just get like a trim for sure on the ends like I think this much this much has to go at, at least uh, like this much actually Oh, I hate when I have to cut my hair. But Gloria's hair in Modern Family is so pretty because it's like long, but she has always like some face framing pieces going on in the front, so I like that. Also, Penelope Cruz has really beautiful hair. <sighs> Those are kind of my inspo these days. I'm looking for some hair oil. I'm so excited for my stuff to get organized this week. It's like, I'm just not a natural organizer, so having someone help me do it is gonna be literally game changing. Um, but I'm going to add a little bit of this Gizu hair oil just to my ends. So my hair my hair can be pretty dry sometimes, especially on the ends. So I want to make sure my hair is nice and hydrated and I hate the way like my hair looks like dried out. I don't know. I feel like you can just tell. Okay. I feel so squeaky clean. Let's go make some breakfast. I'm so hungry. Um, follow me to the kitchen. Okay, so for breakfast, I feel like I'm talking a lot in this vlog. Let me know if I'm annoying you, um, but I just feel very like chatty today and I like, woke up feeling like I really wanna vlog and I've been excited to film this video actually for the past couple of days. Before I have breakfast, I'm gonna have all of my vitamins kind of a lot low-key i just got some from lemmy and i haven't really like i literally just got them so i don't know how much i like them yet this is my current one i have the i take these ritual essential for women multivitamins focus 
ritual so i take these they're just multivitamin and then also by ritual this is the daily skin hydration this is like literally i think hyaluronic acid so it just helps with like skin hydration and then i just got these gummies it's called lemmy purr it's for vaginal health um i don't really know what i'm expecting to happen down there but everyone says that these are their favorite lemmy ones and i normally i'll take the lemmy burn um kind of after breakfast to kind of like curb my appetite and help me with like not wanting to rush into my next meal and if i ever feel bloated i'll take the let me de bloat i really like that one and take my vitamins and then i also will take this complete gut health by beekeeper naturals it's a pre pro it's a pre pro and postbiotic so that's really good um you're supposed to take probiotics every day so that is my other one that I'll take. So I actually need to go grab my water bottle. I have my water bottle, now I take my vitamins. Ah! Okay, for breakfast, I'm definitely leaning towards avocado toast. I have been making those like feta egg, with like feta egg tacos. I don't know if you've seen that on TikTok. This girl, her name is Bailey, I'm pretty sure. Um, she makes these like, she like makes these like feta and then she like cracks an egg on top and then like puts it in like a tortilla and it's actually really good i've been making it all week but it like makes a mess every time i do it i don't know i like flop each time so we're gonna stick with some avocado toast and i'm gonna make myself a chai and then obviously i'm gonna put egg on top because i need to up my protein Okay, now I'm going to eat my breakfast. I'm so excited. It's kind of a big breakfast. I mean, a big breakfast for me, I guess. Yay! And then I'm watching Danielle Carolyn on YouTube. I love watching just like YouTube videos while I eat my food. So let me know if you guys watch any of my YouTube videos while eating because I think that'd be kind of funny. Okay, breakfast is complete. I was gonna do like a little montage of me eating, but I actually needed to charge my battery, so my camera was charging. We still have a little bit of my chai left, but now it's time to clean up my room. And I mean, I don't have honestly too, too much. I basically just wanna change up my bedding and put away some clothes. Okay, random, I know I <laughs> like squatting. Random, but you guys, actually I don't know if you guys know this, but I love perfume. I have a pretty extensive perfume collection. <laughs> But um, I have a few favorites and this one is gone. I have like one use out of this left. This is the Le Labo Matcha 26. Le Labo Matcha 26, my absolute favorite. This like reminds me of like this time last year though because that's when I got it. So it lasted me about a year. Um, but I wore this like religiously for like four months, like drowned myself in it. So I think if I didn't do that much, it would have lasted me a little, a little bit longer. Um, but this is one of my absolute favorite scents. I love the way it smells. You guys know I'm a huge matcha girl. You're literally Joey King. I dropped it. Another one of my favorite perfumes, this is the YSL Lieb perfume. Um, you can see it's basically empty. There's literally nothing left, but I actually just got a, I just got a new one sent to me by YSL, so that was pretty crazy. Um, but I also really like this perfume. So two of my favorite perfumes are empty. Anyways, let's start cleaning my room. I have some random trash. These are just like random clothes that I just like leave around, but they need to be like folded and put away. I honestly need to do some like actual organizing too of my dresser because I'm already out of space to put like clothes away. And I'm like, girl, where am I going to put all these things? 
I'm gonna put all my clothes away first and then we'll remake my bed, put on some new sheets. I got these really comfortable flannel um, bed sheets from Target. They were on sale and I love flannel bedding or flannel like sheets and stuff like that. And they're blue and white pinstripe, which is so my vibe. I have some clothes that I need to put away. Thing is, I'm kind of out of hangers on the low. So I'm like, where the heck are you even gonna put you guys? I know for sure this short and skirt I can hang up in my closet, so I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I want you to switch out my bedding now, but I'm gonna take off what I have now. So I don't wanna put the clean bedding on this. So we're gonna, this quilt needs to be washed. This duvet also needs to be washed. I try to switch out my sheets like every three weeks, but I feel like I should probably move it up to every two weeks because I was starting to get itchy and I was like, yeah, this means it's like, it's dirty, it's gotta go. So sorry if that's gross, but that is just the truth. I remember when we told my brother that he had to change his sheets, he was like, why? We were like, girl, what do you mean why? Okay. Okay, so I washed a lot of my bedding, so I have a few options that I could do. But like I said, I think I'm leaning towards this like pinstripe baby blue flannel one because I just got it and it just feels so soft. So I'm gonna do, this as my base, obviously. So we're gonna do the fitted sheet and the other sheet, I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna fold up the rest of this stuff and put it in my linen closet, which I can't believe I have a linen closet. I'm starting my period or I am just really out of shape and getting old because putting my bed together just like really took the life out of me I am so tired I'm like tired and like my stomach's cramping but my stomach cramping is what's making me think I'm gonna start my period soon so it is now 1 45 I'm going to start my hair um, it's pretty much dried but I do need to put a little bit of like the blow dryer on Underneath I think for the most part it's dry though, which is good because I wanted most of it to air dry when it comes to getting ready My order is always hair makeup outfit But on days when I'm filming it's outfit hair makeup because I normally film my makeup and then 
I like to have my like and then I'll film like an outfit video once I'm done with my makeup um, And I don't want to put my outfit on over the makeup that I just did But if I'm getting ready and I'm not filming I always just start with my hair first and then I do my makeup and then I'll decide what outfit I want to wear like after because I never like I it takes me so long to figure out what I want to wear but in this case since I want to film my makeup I already need to have some type of top on you like sweatpants on in the bottom and then like I at least have the top that I know I want to wear um so right now I'm going to change into the top <laughs> so now I'm going to change to the top that I want to wear for the day and then I'm going to do my hair and then film my makeup I feel like sometimes I'm just like telling you guys things that you just don't need to know but this is just like how my brain works and it's always like I just got this top it is from LPA which is a brand at Revolve but the actual brand LPA reached out to me and asked if they could gift me some things and obviously I said yes and I'm like obsessed with anything like off the shoulder and like polka dots I feel like I have like multiple polka dot dresses and multiple off the shoulder top so I thought this could be really cute and then I think I'm gonna curl my hair or I might straighten it honestly oh I don't know I think curling it might last longer because my hair gets pretty greasy when it's straight and then I can't decide if I want to wear jeans or like a black skirt but I don't think this place is that fancy so I think jeans will be good but I don't feel like wearing jeans while I'm getting ready so I'm gonna do the top first and like sweatpants but let's try on the top Okay, this is the top. Um, I think it's really cute. The only thing and probably the only downside about living alone is that I never have anyone to help me like zip up <laughs> clothing items. So there's like a little piece left that I can't reach to zip up. Maybe when Zach's here I can have him help me. But low key like where it needs to be zipped is kind of where my hair stops. So I feel like it kind of covers it and I'm like literally just going to dinner with my dad and Zach. So it's like not, not I'm not going to the Met Gala. This top is really cute. Obviously, I'm just wearing sweats right now, so don't mind that. I'm thinking I'll probably wear some like blue jeans with it, with either like my white Adidas Sambas, but I don't know if like the stripes and the polka dots clash. So I'm thinking maybe I'll wear like my black ballet flats. But let's go do my hair now. Also, I feel like the tanning lotion kind of helped even out my tan. So I feel like for the most part, my hair is dry. I just feel like a little bit underneath, it's kind of wet. But I'm also like, do I just leave my natural hair? My natural hair is inconsistent. Like I have some pieces where it's like literally tight curls and then like right here it drops. So I think I'm gonna just use like curling iron to kind of like touch up what I have going on. And I just got a new curling iron. I just got this curling iron from Main Added, which is Jen Atkins brand. Um, I'm so excited that they added me to their PR list because I actually didn't own a curling iron. Actually, I did own a curling iron, but it's much smaller than this, and it wasn't a wand. Hopefully, I can do this within, like, the next 30 minutes. Less than, because I want to start doing my makeup already, because it's already two. I have a few, like, getting ready playlists, and they're actually linked on my link tree, which I think my link tree is in my description. If it's not, I'll add it for sure, but it's also linked on my TikTok and Instagram. I have, like, a whole link tree, and I have two get ready with me playlists. And I don't know which one I want to listen to. I have a Taylor Swift one, and then I have one that's called... I have one called Makeup Time. And this one's basically a bunch of Taylor Swift, The Neighborhood, Lana, Harry Styles, Olivia Rodrigo, The Weeknd. It's kind of just like a mix of that. And then I have one called It's Friday, and that one's more like... And like I have like old Fergie, Mariah Carey, <laughs> Lil Uzi. Like there's just like random stuff in here. So let's see what I'm feeling. started doing my makeup and forgot to tell the vlog lighting's a little bit washed out on the camera but it looks fine on my phone i'm just filming a get ready with me 
I'm doing one with like no audio, like I'm not gonna be talking, so it's just gonna be like some type of background noise. It's so it's so bright on my camera. I've been obsessed with the Kosas BB Burst. I think did I show you? Did I take you guys to the event with me? I don't think I did. But I went to a private dinner with them, and this was the reason why because they were launching this product, and it's literally so amazing. Concealer, obviously Huda Beauty. I have the shade Granola. Yeah. Doing my makeup for TikTok and YouTube at the same time and trying to make sure I don't mess up is a little bit of a struggle bus. I moved on to the eye portion part of my makeup. Favorite mascaras recently has been this YSL brown mascara and I love it. But then I got a package from YSL Beauty, which I mentioned earlier. And I thought this was the blue mascara at first. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty excited to make a video, but this is the brown mascara but in black and it's waterproof so i'm excited to use this today um because i normally just use their brown one doing my lip combo now this is the kkw beauty lip liner that i've had since i don't even know when it came out this is in the shade nude 2.5 i haven't tried her new lip liners um but this is like just my favorite lip liner of all time i still don't feel good maybe i'm nervous now I'm going to go in with my Benetint by Benefit. I love this as like a lip stain. I rediscovered this lippy yesterday, so I think I'm going to use it again. It is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. Oh, shoot. The name, the color is ripped out. Oh, maybe it's right here. Oh, perfect. It's not on here. Perfect. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a muted rose. I'm just like a lip gloss girl, so... I don't mind when it's a little bit sticky. Okay, and here is the completed makeup look. Obviously, again, the lighting is super, super bright, but I'll show you guys in natural light right now, but I think it came out really cute. But again, it kind of looks like every makeup I do, so no surprise there. Okay, as promised, we are now in a little bit more natural lighting. I'm trying to see what looks better. This is the makeup. I think it came out pretty cute, but it's like pretty much what I always do. And then my hair, I feel like maybe I shouldn't have curled it because like with the top, I feel like it's kind of a lot, but I don't know. I also, oh my God, I thought for, I feel like I didn't blend that out. I, was, I don't know. I'm not loving it. So I just kind of flipped my hair to the side. I kind of like this better. I'm going to lower you a bit. Obviously, I need to put some jeans on. I need to figure out which jeans I want to wear though. I just got these other baggy ones. I'm going to go grab them real quick. Now I'm going to be charging my camera all morning and now the battery's going to die. But that's what happens when I've been vlogging all day. So I just got these jeans. I went to ICA, which is an agency here in LA. And they gifted me a few things. So I got these A brand 90s baggy jeans. And these are size 26. I don't think I've been a size 26 since like maybe the 7th grade. So let's see how this goes. Oh fuck. Okay, so far, so good. These being a 26 is actually insanity. Oh, and they're really comfortable. Normally when I size down, I'm like, Ugh, I can tell that I'm sizing down, but these feel great. And I love the hem on them, or the, not the hem. Yeah, the hem, I guess. Okay, here are the jeans on. I love that the crotch is like not super long. That's my beef with high-waisted jeans. It goes like right below my belly button. So I actually think I'm gonna stick with these jeans. They're like, I can't tell what they look like on the back, but they feel really, really comfortable. So I think I'm gonna wear this with my ballet flats because I think the sneakers, I don't know. Okay, I need to charge my camera before we go. Look at me nearly with his little cup. Yep, you look cool. Can you rate dinner 1 to 10? I give it... I'm going to do it like uh, David Portnoy. Portnoy? Yeah, Dave give, Portnoy. I'm, Dave Portnoy. I'm going to give it a solid 8.75. Oh, How is that solid? It's 8.7. Out of 10? That's super solid. But well, wouldn't it be like 8 out of 10 is solid? Not 8.7? You got to do a decimal? Oh my god. I like how they put a white in front of me too. <laughs> like they're telling me something. 8.7 you said? 8.7. Zach? Uh, 8.9. Oh. 8 .9. We're pretty close, though. We're thinking of height. 8.9. Maybe, yeah, maybe if I eat another, if I have a dish that... We'll Sets it, it over? We'll put it to like a 9. I know. say mine was an 8.2. You get the first one. You thought about the, the whole thing or your dish? 
The whole thing, man. Oh yeah. You said mine. Hey guys, I am back from dinner. I vlogged a little bit on my phone. I guess I forgot my camera. I left it charging on here, so that was my mistake. We just ate at this Italian restaurant downtown, but we had to wait like 35 minutes for our table, so we just like walked around the area. We were kind of by like Grand Central Market, if you guys know where that is, so we were doing that, and then we went back to my dad's place and just were like hanging out and talking, but it's already like 8.30, and it was really cold, so I wanted to come home. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change to something comfortable once Zach leaves, and then I want to fix the bathroom. Um, was I? I want to put like the bathroom <laughs> sticky things on the shower. So if I don't do that tonight, I'll do that tomorrow. I found out tomorrow's President's Day, so all my meetings have been canceled because the office is closed and the post office is closed, so I can't drop off any of my packages. And then tomorrow we start building the office, <laughs> so I can't be filming or editing. What? Even, I was like, I was just updating them. Stop now. Updating the vlog because I want. I ordered something that I want to do to my bathroom that I was supposed to do earlier today, but the package didn't arrive till like right before I had to leave. Yeah, that sounds like it could be an issue. No, now it's here. So now, oh, I, so oh. now I can do it. I wanted to do it earlier, but I'm saying I'm gonna finish, like. Yeah. Doing that later tonight, but once I like change my outfit and like get comfortable. Yeah, you get into cozy vibes. Yeah, and if I don't do it tonight, if I get lazy, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, because you have a, you have a nice free day tomorrow. I know, and I'm already <laughs> dreading it. So what I'm not doing tonight is that <laughs> is putting together my bathroom shower thing. It's just not gonna happen. It's only what time is it? It's oh, I thought it was 9:30. It's 10. It's 1019, I've been on my phone just like watching TikToks and then I was talking to Sarah for a bit. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking that's not gonna happen tonight. So <sighs> I'm tired. So right now I'm gonna put on Breaking Dawn part one because I watched New Moon and Eclipse yesterday. So I'm gonna watch Breaking Dawn part one today. And then maybe tomorrow I'll watch Breaking Dawn part two. But I also tomorrow might restart all of the Twilights and watch it with Zach because we both kind of have an off day since it's President's Day and he only has to work in the morning and you guys already know my thing. So he said he would watch the Twilight movies with me because <laughs> he's never seen them and I love them. So I think we're gonna do a marathon tomorrow, possibly. Turn on my tea kettle for some tea. Little trick I learned from TikTok is to put your Girl Scout cookie in the freezer. Zach bought me Samoas, but then a little Girl Scout came to my house last week and I bought tagalongs. But I like, I like Samoas better. So I always have like a little, I have a little chocolatey treat. My tea kettle sounds like it's gonna explode. But also, Zach got me a bunch of chocolate for Valentine's Day. I've been switching off on chocolate and cookie at night. This is typically my go-to mug for tea. I got this in New York when I was like eighth grade, the first time I ever went to New York. Literally changed my life. Tonight, I'm gonna do spearmint tea. Spearmint's really good for your skin and your hormones and I think your gut health. Mm, that cookie was so good. Oh, and tomorrow's gonna be a rainy day, which I don't love the rain right now, I'm like ready for warm weather, but rainy day does equal twilight marathon in my mind. So I'm gonna say goodnight to the vlog and then I'll see you guys in the morning.